In this video, I am going to try and help one of our viewers who is having a difficult time figuring out if the riser, the last riser at the top of a landing can be taller or shorter because it's going to the landing and it cannot be. And even though I did another video on it, I might not have been clear or should I say crystal clear, but this is actually a flight of stairs. And within a flight of stairs, all of the risers and treads should be the same sizes. However, most building codes allow there to be a maximum variation of 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that. I do have another video on that at our website in the building code section. So the stairways between the floors and the landings or the platforms in this example are a continuous flight of stairs and should be treated that way. However, when we step up from a floor or a platform or a landing up to another floor landing or platform and then go up our set of stairs, it might be a little different. You could actually view this right here as a flight of stairs and separate from this stairway. And if you're having problems with this, you're having problems with a building inspector, feel free to show them this video. However, keep in mind, they are going to have the final say on this and not me. I'm just simply providing you with an interpretation of the building codes and uh, their interpretation might be different. Now, if I have a winder step in the landing, then this would be a step and this would be a step. This is not going to be considered a landing unless it meets the specifications for a landing according to your building codes. And in this example here, this would be part of the flight of stairs. And each one of these risers would need to have the same riser height as this flight of stairs here. However, that wouldn't be the case here where we have a landing stepping up to another landing. So again, this would be considered a flight of stairs. This would be considered a flight of stairs. And then this would be considered a separate flight of stairs. And again, I can't stress this enough. It's going to be up to your local building department to provide you with clarification and their interpretation of their building codes. And hopefully this makes sense. However, if it does not, feel free to leave your questions in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.